I got a job one time when I was coaching, and it was up in uh, the mountains uh, in North Georgia. And it was a place where I was raised, and so I knew a lot of people there. I, I didn't go to school uh, in that county, but, you know, when I was younger, I had lived in that county. I actually went to school in a different county. But anyway, uh, I knew a lot of people there. And uh, so my wife, you know, she didn't know anybody. So we went there, and we found, uh, you know, a church, and we started going to this church. And so, uh, the, uh, first time they had, you know, a, a meal and I mean, everybody brings their own food and this is a place where, um, now this is really out in the country. It's a really rural area and all the women can cook. I mean, all of them. So when we'd have something, man, it all bring, you know, they're show, they'd show out, you know, and they all had their own special dishes that they made. You know for the big church cookout thing whenever we'd have it so anyway my wife the first time we had one um she made this pie and she cut up all the top and made a lattice top out of it and made it real pretty i mean it looked like you know i mean it's perfect and so uh we go to the church for the meal you know we put all the stuff out and uh, nobody ate her pie i mean there's like one slice and she's like what in the world these people are crazy nobody ate my pie and i said well i knew nobody was gonna eat it she said why i said because you made it too pretty i said it looks perfect it looks like something like middle of store bought they're not gonna eat anything that looks store bought here and she's like well it's not store bought and i'm like well they don't know that i said plus they don't know you they don't know if you can cook or not. They're watching every move you make. And I'm gonna tell you now, the people that live in the, the mountains are very uh, suspicious of people that aren't from there. And it doesn't matter how long you live there, you're not from there. I mean, you can live there 50 years, you know, moved there when you was three years old and you're not from there, you're just not. And I guess that's the way it is in a lot of little towns and places all across the United States. But I told her, I said, they're going to watch you. I said, now, once they figure out you can cook, they'll eat your stuff. I said, but they're not just going to hop in there and, and eat something that you made. I said, plus, like I said, it looked store-bought. So you just made them think you can't cook by bringing that perfect pie out there. Uh, they were having some kind of women's thing. And my wife... You know, they'd already figured out what a good cook she was. And she told him, she said, well, I'll make the cake for this. You know, it was like some kind of fall celebration or something. And so uh, they were like, oh, yeah, of course, you make it. And so she made it, and it was a carrot cake. And, man, it was all decorated up, and, and it was good. Now, it, that, that carrot cake's good. But anyway, she made this carrot cake, and, I mean, it just looked awesome. And it was awesome. And uh, about a week later, she said, I wonder why so-and-so, whatever her name was, there was a lady, we'll call, let's give her a name, Beverly. I wonder why Beverly's not talking to me. She wouldn't talk to me today. And I'm like, Tammy, there ain't no telling. Well, come to find out, in the past, Beverly had always made the cakes for the fall celebration and Tammy volunteered which she didn't know any better than to do and she volunteered and they all jumped on it in a heartbeat because her cake was way better than Beverly's and it hurt Beverly's feelings so you got to be careful you don't want to offend people with your cooking now later on we went to this other church uh, where we live now and it was a big church a lot of people way way bigger than anything we'd ever been to before and this is you know the suburbs and all this so it's a little different than where we were used to living and uh, whenever they would have like a church function and everybody bring food we found out real quick most of those people they didn't have any earthly idea how to cook 
I mean, they would bring like a can of something in and just put it on the table. Like the women were supposed to go put it in a pot and heat it up or they would bring rolls. Like the kind of dinner rolls like that you, you know, cook in the oven. They just bring raw rolls in there or just Cokes. Everybody bring Cokes. I mean, it doesn't bring a bunch of junk and hardly any of them could cook. So the women that could cook had to cook a lot. Uh, but anyway, I was in there one time and I love Mexican food. I mean, I eat, I could eat Mexican food every week. It's about to eat it every day. But anyway, um, this lady come in one time and like I said, we had a lot of people and she couldn't even speak English now. I don't know what country it is she came from. Uh, it was somewhere south of the border. So she comes in and she had this dish and it was like enchiladas or something. And I saw that when she came in and I watched to wait to see where she put it. And I made sure I knew where that was because I wanted to make sure I got some of those enchiladas. I mean, I, I made a beeline there. You know, when it came time to eat, man, I knew I had my strategy, all that kind of stuff. I went up there immediately. I thought, man, this is going to be good. And this lady is from, you know, Mexico. I'm about to eat some real authentic Mexican food. And, uh, man, I took a bite of that stuff. And it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. I don't even know what it was. I can't, I couldn't even identify what the, I was like, I ate about one bite of it. I looked at my wife and I was like, oh my God, what is this? Yeah, at that church, you really had to watch it. Cause I mean, you, you all get a hold of anything. The only thing I remember at that church out in the country that we got that was kind of questionable is uh, some lady made like a rum cake or something. And I mean, it was, <laughs> I took like one bite and I was like, Tammy, you know, you're not supposed to, not supposed to be drinking in a Baptist church, but my Lord, this cake, it's, <laughs> it was, I mean, it just tastes just straight like rum, but anyway, that happened one time, um, but anyway, you know, that happened one time there, but at that other place, the big church in the suburbs, you'd get some stuff and it'd just be like, oh my Lord. And then you sit there at the table, and y'all know this, if y'all go to a church and they have, you know, dinner on the ground or whatever they call it, fellowship, which means eating, you know. Uh, anyway, we'd have a fellowship and you get something on your plate and it looked good. It looked like it'd be okay. And then you'd have to kind of look around the table and think, man, I wonder who made this. I hope I'm not sitting across. I hope I'm not sitting across from the lady that made this because this is horrible and I can't eat it. And I don't even want to push it around with my fork to make it look like I'm eating it or even make it look like I'm telling I'm just not going to eat it. So I just hope she's not sitting next to me because if she sees I don't eat her food, she's going to get offended. So I'm just going to have to go for it and not eat it because there's a lot of people at this church. So if she gets mad at me, maybe somebody else will like me.